Assalamu alaikum dear students. In the previous series of lectures, we did acquired immunity very much in detail. That how our Im immune system react to any foreign antigen or invader. But how our immune system distinguish between self and non-self antigen is today's topic. That is tolerance of acquired immunity At the end of this lecture, you would be able to know the tolerance and about the mechanism that develop tolerance and what happens to our body when tolerance fails and an apit concept of immunization. Tolerance refers to the non-responsiveness to our self-antigen. And this is very, very necessary that our immune system must know the difference between self and non-self antigen like bacteria and viruses. Otherwise, if a person should become immune to his or her own self tissue, the process of this acquired immunity would destroy the individual's own body cells. And this is all tolerance mechanism is achieved during the embryonic development when immune system is immature and our body cell is, it is exposed to our body cells and the system then recognize all these tissues as self antigen in the later life when the same uh, antigens are exposed to this immune system it does not evoke any of the immune response and this mechanism is known as tolerance This immune tolerance can be achieved by many possible mechanisms uh, like clonal deletion, clonal energy and suppression, suppression of immune systems or immune cells and receptor editing especially on the B cells. The most important phenomena is clonal deletion. In the tolerance mechanism what happened during the embryonic life pre-processing of B and T cells occur you know this as we have discussed in the previous respective lectures B cells pre-process in bone marrow while T cells get their education where yes in the thymus so during this process B and T cells receptor that attaches to self antigen that attaches to self antigen like lock and key mechanism are at once deleted or eliminated look at this picture there is clonal deletion going on the cross ones are being deleted just because they recognize self antigen so in the later life won't be available for the self antigen so which type of cells will enter into the periphery yes those B and T cells that do not recognize the self antigen. So they will be activated only by non self or foreign antigens subsequently. Another important mechanism to achieve immune uh, tolerance is clonal energy. Uh, this the word is energy, not the energy. Energy means weakness or functional unresponsiveness. In this, the lymphocytes are functionally inactivated uh, following um, any encounter with the self antigen, but they remain there alive for some time but cannot be activated. Thus, by this pr procedure, they remain in the periphery or in the circulation or in the lymphoid tissue but in a in a state of uh, hypo or unresponsiveness or in a weak state the third phenomena is suppression as the name says uh, the lymphocytes that come out after pre-processing with the receptor 
that recognize the self antigen or you can say simply the lymphocyte that uh, that have been escaped from clonal deletion in the embryonic life are suppressed by this mechanism for example uh, you know the suppressor t cell function what was the function they regulate the cytotoxic and helper t cells suppressing their action even against the self antigen to in turn helper cells regulate the b, b cells or b lymphocytes uh, a newly identified means of get reading the body's self reactive b cells is receptor editing with this mechanism once a b cell that have receptor for the body's own antigen and um, uh, uh, during the embryonic life the b cell is not deleted or uh, it it escapes its death by the apoptosis but what happens that it swiftly changes its receptor to the non self version in this way the b cell remains there it is not deleted but it is rehabilitated its receptor has been changed from self version to the non self version so it will never target the body's own tissue and will get uh, the tolerance this slide shows the whole summary of the tolerance mechanism uh, you can see in the in in this blue area that is showing the central tolerance or the tolerance that is going uh, in the thymus and bone marrow for the t cell in the thymus and uh, for the b cell in the bone marrow uh, uh, this is the clonal deletion uh, the cells which which have uh, which have the self antigen receptor are being deleted or the their program death or apoptosis is going on and another thing that is the receptor editing is going on for the b cells that uh, they are being rehabilitated their receptors are uh, changing from the uh, self to the non self one production of the uh, suppressor t cells or you can see the uh, the cells that can suppress the immune response are uh, going on come to this one the white one that is it is the peripheral tolerance going uh, usually it is uh, done in the peripheral tissues and the first one is the energy if if the lymphocytes escape from all these mechanism and still they possess the self antigen receptors they can be made functionally unresponsiveness by this process known as energy they can be deleted uh, later on and they can be suppressed by the uh, regulatory t cells or the suppressor t cells so that they cannot attack the self antigen now here's a question for you you know fetus is genetically different from the mother and thus it should evoke an immune response in the mother however it usually never happens why think search and give me the answer sometimes people lose their immune tolerance to their own tissue and start producing antibodies or t cells against self antigens or you can say against their own cells or tissues that can lead to different conditions or uh, diseases and that known as autoimmune diseases that may be due to the persistence of uh, that uh, clones uh, that uh, have receptor still have the receptor for self antigen or they have escaped from clonal deletion or certain self antigens uh, that are present in the closed system are never exposed to the um, immune system during their fetal life for example uh, the lens protein that is encapsulated uh, in a capsule that remains encapsulated but if if there is any accidental leakage during any cataract sur surgery can lead to immune response and can damage both the eyes any of the mutation of the immune system 
some cells may go alteration or mutation even due to the uh, exposure to even drug sunlight radiation they can also produce the immune response or is there any activity if there any activity of uh, unbalanced activity of helper t cells or suppressor t cells you know they regulate the whole system of the immunity that, that can also activate the autoimmunity common autoimmune diseases include rheumatic fever or it is also known as rheumatic heart disease in which the heart is damaged by autoantibodies formed against streptococci streptococcus toxin has an epitope similar to the body's uh, own tissue and here in this case the valves of the heart are damaged another similar disease the is the myasthenia gravis in which immunity develop against the acetylcholine receptor proteins of the neuromuscular junction causing the paralysis of the muscle another one is glomerulonephritis in which the persons become immunized against the basement membrane of glomeruli of uh, kidney and the basement membrane is inflamed badly another example is graves disease and the auto antibodies bind to the thyroid cells and stimulate them and causes the hyperthyroidism increased secretion of the thyroid hormone uh, and one of the common example one more common example is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus in which antibodies damages the beta cell uh, that produces the insulin and uh, causes the type 1 diabetes during the infancy and another one you must have heard recently is th thrombocytopenic purpura in which the auto antibodies react with self platelets one of our politicians is suffering from this disease nowadays come to the topic of immunization immunization has been used for many years to produce a coed immunity against specific diseases uh, so the immunity can be acquired by the production of antibodies or the immunocompetent cells that combat with the disease on any of the antigenic stimulation when the immunity is acquired by the production of immunocompetent cells of individuals own immune system uh, through the introduction of the uh, antigens or you can say the vaccines uh, it is known as active immunity the vaccines are the preparations of uh, number one killed microorganisms in which the uh, the killed microorganisms that are no longer capable of causing diseases but still have their chemical antigen with them and they can evoke the immune response are given number 2 live attenuated microorganisms means uh, that these are the organisms uh, organisms that have been Uh, passed through special type of uh, media or they are grown into special type of media or have been mutated enough that they will not uh, cause the diseases anymore but still carry the antigen to evoke immune response number third type of vaccines are the uh, toxins these toxins are treated one they are damaged one Uh, as uh, as they cannot cause any diseases anymore but their antigenicity for immunity is, is still intact these are the examples of uh, uh, some of the vaccines uh, for active immunity and uh, uh, artificial active immunity that is known as the active immunization uh, the vaccines that are made from the live attenuated bacteria are bcg vaccine for tuberculosis and the live uh, the poliomyelitis seven vaccine uh, it is also made from the uh, live attenuated poliomyelitis virus and the mmr vaccine for measles mumps rubella now the example for the uh, 
uh, vaccines that are made from the killed bacteria are uh, the vaccine tab vaccine for the typhoid and the one of the poliomyelitis uh, vaccine salk vaccine and the vaccine made from the killed rabies virus the example for the uh, vaccines that are uh, ma made from the tetanus uh, that made from the toxins are the tetanus toxide diphtheria toxide and the botulism toxin the second type of immunity that is given artificially is the immunity that can be transferred to the individuals or recipients by injecting ready-made antibodies. Here the individual's immune system does not play an active role just like in the case of the active immunity in which antigen was given and the, uh, their own cell mediated immunocompetent cells provided the immunity. Here in this case, administration of hyperimmune sera is done. The examples of our, uh, the passive immunity include anti-tetanus serum, ATS, anti-diphtheric serum, and anti-gas gangrene serum. The passively administered antibodies are readily removed by the metabolism. So this passive immunity is short-lived and less effective but they are very much beneficial in immunodeficient individuals those who have suppressed function of t-cells so this ready-made uh, uh, immunity by the antibodies is very beneficial for those people thank you students this is my email address for any query and the book's name for reference